So this is the new Isuzu D-Max 2024 model. We've done a dual battery system for it. It's the PBE system. Let's have a look quickly if we climb in. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to switch off everything as it would be installed. So when I switch on the MON, it's the monitor, it's only the display. Then the display can select either main battery or below the auxiliary battery. So the main battery is there. The auxiliary battery is a bit lower. So if I switch on the charging system, nothing will happen. The system will just initiate and wait for the alternator to charge. So if I start the vehicle, So the alternator will rise up higher to the high level and the auxiliary battery will wait until the charging system realizes and there it starts charging. Okay, so there it starts the charging. Let me go to the back quickly. I'm going to Let me just get my meter, set it on DC, zero it, and switch it on. So there's 25 amp, 26 amp charging, 27, and it can actually go up to 30, almost 28. So that's the charging. I will let the fridge, the Dometic fridge, run a bit more and do a test later and see if we can reach that 30 amp charge. The battery is quite full. So 25 amp charging rate at this stage. So when we do two batteries, we can go 50 to 60 amps, which is quite good. But for one battery, we won't go over 30. Um, 31, 32, even 35 is okay with the fridge running, but the battery will will need about 30 amps charging as a safe and fast charging method. So I'll update you once I've run the fridge a bit more so that the battery can charge at a bit higher rate. But 25 amps for now is good. That is, that's, that's for a single battery and it's reliable, it's a highly reliable system, you see there is 27 amps. So the system that we've installed, we can connect on the battery here and it goes through our control unit with its electronics on the other side. Okay, it goes through the main fuse which is a 50 amp fuse goes through the cables to the back where it connects to the battery with the high current sockets. I will demonstrate that now. So this is typically when the box is installed and we connect our sockets up. Like that for the charging. Fridge, other auxiliary, air pump, etc cables is neatly run through this place here, space made where the cables could come through and that's a neat installation. So yeah, let's run it a bit and see how it goes. Right, this is a neat installation on a brand new Isuzu 4x4. The 
and we're going to do a quick test. There's the monitor system. For now I'm going to switch everything off. So with the PVE system you can switch on the monitor. There's the main battery and the auxiliary battery which is much lower because of the usage. So I can switch it on. It will wait for the alternator. So I'm going to start the car. Okay. And then get the light correct. There it goes. It goes up. So the auxiliary battery will also start charging. Okay, let me go to the back. back. And then we switch on the current and zero it and then measure. 30 amp charging to the auxiliary battery from the PBE system. That's a good charge. That's a very good charge. So this is a neat system done. There's your 30 amp charging. Minimum 30 amp. 31 amp now. So that's a neat, neat charge rate for an auxiliary battery. In the back, driving a fridge. The fridge is on. Let me just have a look here. I've been running it a few hours. The fridge is set at minus four already. Fridge freezer and. If we switch off the car, it dies out automatically. So if the vehicle is stored for a long period of time, you can switch off here and there and the whole system is dead. So the charging and the monitor. So the charging system can be activated by the charge button. If we switch it on, it will wait for the alternator. So it will do nothing at this stage. The main battery will be higher. Here's your main battery reading. Here's your auxiliary battery reading. So if I start the car, new Isuzu's, you will see the alternator climbing on the main battery. It is already at 14 volts. Now, make sure charging up. Let me get a closer focus for you there. Now it's charging up. So, if there's 30 amp running, your battery will rise to the top until it is full. So, if I come here to the back again. Let's zero my meter. There's your 30 amps. There's your 30 amp charge, right?